Hey, it is I, Jay. And keeping on the trend of birthdays here on the channel, I got my Bella Parker doll a year ago. It was like a day before my birthday last year. And really, I haven't done much with her. She's kind of just been in the back of my shelf because I really didn't like how shiny her face was and her hair always kind of just felt crunchy no matter how much I washed it. So of course, judging by both of those little topics I mentioned, we're going to be fixing both of them. I am going to be removing the shine all off her face so she's not sweaty anymore. And we're going to be doing something with her hair. I really don't know what I was going to do and we're kind of just rolling with it, okay? Yeah, guys, let's get this video started. Roll the intro, Jay, who is editing this video at 7.03 p.m. Okay, fam, so this is Bella. She's a very sweaty queen, and her hair just feels like there's some leftover gel. But I think the first thing we're going to tackle is the shine because it's really annoying, and it's just very prominent, as you can see. But before we do that, I'm just going to take off her outfit because I know I'm going to struggle with it anyways. So to remove the shimmer on her face, I'm going to be using 100% acetone. This removes nail polish. And I'm also going to be using numerous of these cotton rounds. And they're just going to remove the entire face almost if you don't do this properly. So that is your warning. One thing I have accepted is I'm going to lose her blush, but it is very heavy. And I just think it adds more to this pink look that I don't like. So I'm hoping that looks good after, you know. At this point, her hair was annoying me. So I just put it in a elastic thingy that my sister had. I don't know what this is, but it worked. <laughs> For the majority of the face, I'm going to be using these cotton rounds to get the shimmer off. But when I get towards the lips and the crevices, I'm going to be using a cotton swab. Now doing this was kind of nerve wracking on camera because I couldn't really see where I was going. And, you know, she's already pale enough. Come on now. But after just a few rubs, I already got most of the forehead done. And it also removed that weird mark that she had on her forehead just from the factory. Now you really want to be careful when you go between the eyes because you don't want to remove the eyebrows and you also don't want to remove any of the makeup. So I do recommend using those little cotton swabs like I mentioned earlier, but at this point I really wasn't thinking. So um, what we did was what we did. So now it was time to tackle the lower part of the face where the blushing was. And as you guys can see, I was barely holding this to her face and look at how I removed the blush that fast. So you really got to be careful when you're doing this on your doll because you don't want to wipe away her eyelashes or her lips or her makeup. So just take your time and, you know, just vibe with her. So she's finally a matte queen, but I did start burning her body by accident because some drips did get on her chest. So if you're doing this, just put a towel around her and you should be all Gucci. And after I was done doing her face and her body, I just put her under some cold water to stop the acetone from potentially eating at the plastic anymore. So now it was time to tackle her hair. Now it is a very soft fiber that they used on Bella. It's probably the best from Rainbow High at the moment. But at her roots, I still feel some kind of product. So we're going to wash that leg. off of Bella. I'm going to be using my dish soap and I'm going to be using my normal conditioner. It's the same routine all the time, guys. We should know this by now. And as of recently, I've been using cold water to rinse out their hair. I've noticed it keeps the curls and any kind of wave they have in their hair better than warm or hot water. So it really depends on what you're trying to do with the doll's hair. I added my dish soap to her hair and I just started lathering it, especially focusing on her root area. I did notice the hair gets sometimes dry when I'm doing this, so I do have to add a little water just to make it all, you know, foamy and all that good stuff. And again, I'm just rinsing it out in cold water and yeah, it's, it feels a lot nicer this time. I feel like I've washed this doll's hair at least three times since I got her. But now it is time for conditioner and I was just playing around with her hair wet and wouldn't this be like a cute style on her? Like, come on now. But just like my normal Rainbow High doll hair videos, I split the hair down the middle where the part is and I just give the conditioner equal amounts and just rub it in and, you know, just have fun with this part because it's, it's the fun part in my opinion. Now, Bella's hair wasn't really naughty in the first place, so brushing it out was just kind of just to smooth it through and all that jazz, but it really does smooth out so nice once you've like washed a doll already, so period to that. I did let it sit in her hair for five minutes and then I rinsed it out once again in cold water. After that, I just put her in a nice little towel and I actually forgot to do the other part of this video. So she did dry overnight and this is what she looks like after 24 hours serving queen. And as you guys can see, her face is no longer shiny and her body isn't, you know, being melted anymore. So that's a good thing, right? So now we're going to be curling her hair. I'm going to be using these rods right here. This is the typical size I use when I do doll hair. 
And next I'm gonna be using this plastic strip that I got from my AliExpress Violet. I'm gonna see if it could keep this part down and I just curl the bottom out. I'm thinking it's gonna look cute, so we'll see. Now obviously we're gonna need a comb so we can smooth out these sections. And I always use end papers. These are like a lifesaver in my opinion and a must. And I'm also gonna be using this curl cream right here. So since our hair is dry now, I'm going to just spray it down with some water so it can have some moisture in it so it's easier to curl. I like to curl doll hair wet, um, but again, I'd let her dry. So that's the only reason why it's dry. Ugh, I love her so much now without the shine. Ugh. Putting on that plastic strap that I was talking about earlier, it was kind of hard to put on camera, but it did go through. Now curling her hair is going to be a bit different because we don't have access to all the rows. It's just all the plugs at one area. So it's going to be a little choppy, but it's fine. So for starters, I just sectioned it off in rows like I typically would, which just without the access of the rows. I comb it through, I section it off, and then I'm going to be adding my curl cream to this. Then I get just one of those end papers. I fold it in half and then spray it down. Now, since this is the front of her face, we are going to try curling this away from her face because if you curl it towards it, it just looks weird. Unless that's the style you're like trying to go for, then just go off. And I don't know why, but it was giving me like memories of like baloney her hair. And I don't know why. I don't even know what that tastes like. But now that you guys have seen me do one, I'm going to do the rest off camera and I'll meet you once I'm finished. So BRB. So, um, yeah, this is Bella. She's looking a little weird, especially in the face. I mean, her eyelashes are looking down. But now I'm going to be using my steamer because this just works a lot better than boiling water and putting it in a bowl. I've noticed my rods pop when I do that. So I typically just put the doll on a stand. Um, it was kind of vomiting, but I fixed it and I started steaming her hair. Now, a lot of people might ask why I'm doing this instead of just dunking her hair in a bowl of hot water. Well, I noticed my rods typically pop in extremely hot water, so I I typically just steam her hair just like the drag queens do when they style their wigs and it works wonders in my opinion and i did that for around five to ten minutes and now it's time to put her in the freezer and this is something i did as a joke one day but it actually does help the hair i've noticed so i've done it ever since and i just put her in there for 10 minutes And yeah, guys, this is what her hair looks like. It's a little chunky in the back, but I'm gonna play around with it at the end. I still think it looks really cute. It did achieve what I wanted it to with the top flatter and then the bottom being, you know, curly and all. As for her lashes, um, they're gonna need to be fixed, but yeah, go off. But her hair is still super soft and it's super curly now. And I'm actually really happy with it. I think she just needs her headband. Um, Guys, let me know in the comments how this looks and how it turned out. Let me know also if you're going to be trying the removal of the shine. Um, Once again, if you're going to do that, please be careful. I don't want you guys ruining your dolls. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love you guys to join the channel and you know do more doll hair with me and all that jazz. So yeah. I will see you guys in the next YouTube video, which I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something Rainbow High related, probably just knowing me. But anyways, guys, see you around. Bye.